Now we're going to take a look at reflection. There's two types of reflection. One is reflection over the x-axis, and that's when you simply reflect the shape over the x-axis. The second type of reflection is reflection over the y-axis, and as the name indicates, you're just reflecting the shape over the y-axis. So let's go ahead and take a look at both of those. We'll take a look at reflecting over the y-axis first. Uh, in order to do that, all you need to do is multiply the x-coordinate of the order pair by negative 1. So for coordinate A, which is negative 2, 3, the new coordinate, A prime, will be at 2, 3. For our B coordinate, which is at 5, 1, we multiply that by negative 1, and we get negative 5, 1. And lastly, for our C coordinate, which is at 4, 5, when we multiply that by negative 1, we get negative 4, 5. So these coordinates now get the prime after them for the letters. So that's A prime, B prime, and C prime for their new coordinates. That indicates that they have been translated or moved in some way, that it's not the original shape. And if I can get these points there. So this would be our reflected shape over the y-axis. Reflecting over the x-axis requires us to multiply our y-coordinate this time by negative 1. So a here is at negative 2, 3. So when we multiply the y-coordinate by negative 1, our new coordinate becomes negative 2, negative 3. For b, which is at 5, 1, when we multiply that by the y-coordinate by negative 1, we get 5, negative 1. And lastly, for c, which is at 4, 5, we multiply the y-coordinate by negative 1, we get 4, negative 5, which is right here. And again, these new coordinates get the A prime, B prime, C prime indication, uh, indicating that they've been moved in some way and they're not the original. If this was a reflection um, over a reflection, we would do A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. So this would be our reflection over the x-axis.